beautiful farms today we are talking trains that must die in 2023 guys these are trains that need to die as in no one should even do this at all i'm sure i'm going to be speaking for a lot of mind in this video when i start going into it at the end of this video you're going to see nine things that instantly makes you look cheap you don't want to look cheap and how to look expensive on a budget in 2023 I must drag my seat to talk about this seriously this is a very serious issue the first trend i'd like to address is the corset trend <sighs> ladies what is it with the corset you know the annoying part of it is for your tailor to get you a corset that is not even your cup size it's so annoying and everything looks suffocating the worst part of it is that some ladies will go to your bestest wedding and then they wear a cup size that is smaller than their boobs and everything will be all out come what exactly are you advertising even if you don't have a fiance or you don't have a man or you're trying to land a man you will definitely try to land the wrong guy look men don't come for you because you look like a prostitute no they want to get settled with somebody that looks homely most of the time of course there are always exception to rules but if that is what you're going for if you're going for trying to get a man to settle with you looking sexy for him then going half naked in the name of corset is not the answer to it trend number two is the extra length lashes ladies as in brethren what is it with the extra length lashes you are actually looking most of the time rarish local guys you need to look at yourself in the mirror before you step out because most time i said ladies that look this way i've always not respected them i've even asked the opinion of other people men and women and they all have the same opinion of ladies that wear extra length lashes it means it is not necessary what is the drama for girl sister girl you need to grow up wear something that makes you look chic wear something that makes you look classy and that is the shorter length it doesn't have to be the shortest length it doesn't have to be a particular length but please do away with the extras thank you number three i'm talking about the abstract lenses yes i love 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 contact lenses in fact there was a time i was always on contact lenses well that is a story for another day but let's talk about this ladies wearing abstract colors what is it like we're blacks we are nigerians ladies you see when a white person is wearing colored lenses it looks chic it looks lovely it looks you know it's their thing it goes with the you know the complexion but you see the dark colored nigerians i mean dark beautiful looking ladies and you're wearing sky blue lenses you're wearing some abstract colors that I can't even explain some colors that are so loud and flashy that goes in contrast with your complexion that goes with contra in contrast with your beautiful beautiful black color girl what's the message our eyes keeps watering when we are looking at you that is not the message you should pass you should make us fall in love with your look not make us run away from it ladies if you are in this category if you're on this table please we are begging you that train needs to stop in 2023 it makes you look cheap you can look expensive on a budget by wearing colors that blends with your skin in fact sometimes you see some ladies wear certain contact lenses with the right colors and you're like is she on lenses you're trying to look at the eye as in the eye is sending you different messages that is making you attracted to the lady that is the message you want to pass you want to look hot at all times you want to look expensive on a budget trend number four is the feather clothing ladies i think we need to address this i think we need to talk to the tailors we should address the tailors because sometimes you give your clothes to them and you're like i need a style that is good a style that when i get to that wedding whoa every head will turn and then they bring feathers to you are you collect it are you serious you see the worst part of it is they don't even make it minimal you know probably if the feathers had been minimal it would have been a different case the feathers are always too loud sometimes you see it on the wrist on the ankle on the neck on the waistline what is it i said are you having a meeting with the birds ladies please 
if that clothes is in your wardrobe can you stop can you just you mustn't give anybody just take care of it thank you another trend we are talking about is the gold tinted hair <laughs> ladies i know some chicks right now will be saying somebody needs to talk about this <laughs> Uh, it's as if the whole of Nigeria is on gold tinted hair. As long as they cut their hair, as long as they are on low cut, the next thing is the gold color. See, there are differences between this color. I must say, I must come out honestly to tell you that you see some gold colors and you're like, oh, you look good. But you see, dark people wearing gold color. Ladies, it is not your color. There are some gold colors that are closer to your color. It will blend with your skin. But ordinarily is an abstract and it makes you look local makes you look like someone on the roadside you don't want to look that way you don't want to give that impression okay please tone down the gold you can mix the gold with another color so that it gives you a particular shade that is goldy but not golden okay you get that difference fair people can wear gold yeah it blends there's a way it looks on them but ladies it is not for you if you're dark. Make it goldy, not golden, right? Thank you. You see this particular point I want to talk about. I think this should be number six or so. <laughs> this trend must die. <laughs> it's not just a need to die. It must die. This trend instantly makes you look cheap. And you don't want to look cheap. These are things you do that makes you look classless. You don't want to look classless. <sighs> Mm. ladies the biker shorts right that is what fashion calls it but babe it looks as if you're wearing tight as if you're wearing an undergarment like you're going out with an undergarment that's what you look like and when you see someone going out with an undergarment do you, do you look at the person respectfully do you think the person looks good do you think you, you do you get wowed by the person's looks the answer is no Whatever your friend is telling you, she's not your friend. Except you both are classless. When you do these kind of things, it makes you instantly look cheap. Please, drop this trend. We don't want it in 2023. Thank you. Point number seven or so, I think I need a loudspeaker for this point. Because, ladies, what are you doing? I see lots of you going out braless these days. I don't even understand the message you're trying to pass. Because in everything we do, we're trying to pass a message, right? We are trying to give an impression. There is a reputation we all want to have, right? What message are you passing, Auntie? Most of the ladies that are even going out braless, their breast is already on the London Bridge. And if you know what happens on the London Bridge, the London Bridge is already falling down. So what is it? What message are you passing? And for those that are still having a perky, what message are you passing as well? What do you really want to achieve with going out to that brass? You could actually go wear a bra top, at least wear something. Some people don't like the discomfort of a bra. But you see, when you're not wearing a bra top, you're not wearing anything. You just wear a see-through shirt or a t-shirt or a bodycon top. That's another word. You go braless. And then you expect to catch the right guy. Like, you're always going to catch a guy that will eventually drop you. It is not me saying this for the purpose of this vlog. I'm telling you the truth. Most guys that want you and really want to stick with you would not want you carrying your breast bare on the road. Check out the reality because he knows that this will attract other men, both nuisance and people that are, I don't know, but then it will attract other kinds of men to you. He will not want that for you. So what are you doing, auntie? What exactly are you doing? You can wear bra tops. You can wear certain kind of singlets that are firm. Okay? That your nipples do not have to show. Please, drop this trend. Don't continue with it in 2023. The next trend is ladies wearing bonnets and wig caps when they're going out. Ladies, what is it? I know some of you may say, I just wanted to quickly get to the makeup artist. I just wanted to quickly pick up my wig in the salon. Put the wig cap in your bag. When you get to the salon, you wear your wig cap and then you wear your wig. And for the bonnet, some even say, uh, you know, my area, there is dust. Ladies, when you want to pick that bike, wear your bonnet. All right. When you want to enter that bus, 
wear your bonnet you don't have to wear it on the road where we can see you please save the ladies it it makes you look so classless you, you, please you, the moment i see you looking that way you instantly look cheap you can actually look expensive without even doing so much less is more and this particular trend is for moms taking your kids to school or doing school runs without bra and in your bonnet ladies moms the fact that you are now a mother does not make you less human you are as human as any other lady out there okay you're still a lady so please just show some class and show some respect you don't want your kid having that impression of you you don't want other women having that impression of you i'm not saying that you must look expensive when you're going to your child's school in fact you can look so simple wearing just a body top and a jean wearing just a skirt and a shirt or a top without all the drama of the bonnet must they know that you just woke up in the morning everybody woke up that morning everyone you saw bring their child to school or everyone you see bring their child to school actually woke up that morning they all prepared their children for school that morning and yet some still took their time to remove that net cap all right to remove the bonnet okay and some to, still took their time to wear that bra ladies you need to wear that bra regardless of if you're driving your kids to school or not okay because some are of the excuse that well i'm just in the car ladies we can still see you all right that's how we got to know okay and then another part is some would not even have their bath as in it is a norm for them that's wrong save the other ladies now not like when we pass by you they want to die stop it it's wrong just at least have your bath take a shower before you take your kid to school all you need to do is to time yourself schedule your time and it will work i know it's not easy ladies i must tell you i know that it's not easy but you can do this all right it's a trend hygiene is key hygiene is so so important please and then when your children are seeing you do this, they don't even know that it's wrong. They will start picking on those things. You don't want your children to pick on the wrong habits. I know you change. This particular trend is a common trend. Everyone that attends an Owambe or weekend party would attest to this. Some ladies will come to the party with the intention of suffocating themselves. Do you want to commit suicide? I mean, do you have to look as if you want to die in order to fit in a dress? That dress is not your size. It means you're wearing an undersized clothing. All right? Makes you look like you borrowed it. That is not what you want to look like. So please, ladies, let's work on this trend. And guys, please give your ladies enough money to buy that Ashoy wrapper complete. Because it seems like some people will buy two yards when it's supposed to be four yards or even three yards. For these ladies not to suffocate in their clothing, can you please give them enough money? thank you so ladies successfully we have spoken about nine things that instantly makes you look cheap these are trends that must stop in 2023 if you follow these points and drop them you will know exactly how to look expensive on a budget in 2023 disclaimer here this is in my opinion but then i've been able to sample the opinion of many other ladies and they also feel that way hence the need for me to make this video you guys I love to see beautiful ladies. Please, let us keep being beautiful. I'll see you in the next.